Hello and welcome to the Teacher Gamecast. My name is Mitchell. Joining me, Dragon Age expert Chris. Hello. <laughs> so today we're going to be looking at uh, some Dragon Age, and we're just going to do some side quest stuff. So I just no, to not spoil anything. Yeah, spoilers are not. Cool. Well, we won't spoil the main quest. We'll spoil the side quest. Yeah. So if you're going to not want to see spoilers, then don't watch this at all. But do watch it, but just don't listen to it. Uh, or just you know have it playing in the background. With no noise while you do something else. Sure. <laughs> so we've got to uh, enter uh, the building on the dam. Yeah. Because we have to clear this lake to get to that thing over there. Indeed. Mm. Pretty nasty. Yes. There are caves under the lake, so we got to get, uh, get in them. How do you like the game so far? Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> it is so good. Yeah, it is. It, the... Being able to just walk around and yeah, just yeah, yeah. Oh man, they take that part. They take the part of like you know the fighting in Dragon Age, which was awesome, and then they take. Why aren't the, you talking to those people? Um. So yeah, they take and then they take the you know, kind of free area of Mass Effect. I guess no. Mass Effect's not really yeah, clear. No, they take it's more like it's more open, sort of Skyrim, but not as open as Skyrim because you can't. It's not just like one map. Yeah, there are different areas, but you can explore those areas fully. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Like, uh, there's there's some, uh, you know, like tedious stuff. Like there's these things called shards that you have to go collect. Uh, we well, don't have to, but you know you can. And they're just like, oh, gotta go around the map and doing stuff like that. Yeah. It's okay. I like doing that kind of yeah. stuff, though. So yeah, it, it's nice. Uh, and the like, there's a lot of side areas, and they're huge. Yeah. Oh. The game just feels a lot more fleshed out. Yeah. It's and the combat is super fun. Yeah. Really enjoying it. And it looks great too. Yeah. So you've got, of course, uh, there here's the skills you have, and since I'm a two-hander, every skill is different, so I can show a. The character record of some of my stuff. So you've got weapon and so if you pick a warrior when you're picking your class, you've got, you can do both two-handed and uh, weapon and shield. Yeah. Um, well, and yeah. Then, same with like I'm I'm playing as a rogue and you can play like dual wield or archery. Yeah. So then you've got when you become the uh, inquisitor, you get a little thing here, and then there's vanguard and battle master for uh, warriors. They're more like the uh, like buffs and. Yeah. Like, oh, Warcry or something like that. And, and all the taunts and all that. Yeah. And then, of course, you can help your other people. So, Iron Bull has this new skill, I think, since I became the Inquisitor. Yeah, everyone gets, like, uh, one skill. Yeah. It's uh, so a subclass, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. And he is also a two-handed. And then I've got um, Vivian. And they, they don't have any healing. I know. Which it's is really annoying. Really bugging me. Like, all they have right now is health potions, but there's only 12. You can't make your own, and you can only refill them at certain areas, and it's really annoying, because they're never in Dragon Age. You can just have yeah, hundreds. You're, you're only you're limited to those 12. Yeah. And you have to make them last. It's really frustrating. And you don't heal outside of combat anymore, either. Yeah. You, you can get, you know, revived, but if you have, like, a spirit energy here, there's a... Revival, but it's it's still really frustrating not being able to just heal during battle. Yeah. So I put a uh, Vivian on uh, Thunder Storm, and I think I'm gonna do Inferno. The like the combat for mages is actually really fun. So I was thinking if I do a second playthrough, I'm gonna go mage just because it looks really interesting. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I've got Iron Bull uh, and Blackwall here. I don't have any rogues in my party right now, just because. Uh, so yeah, they everyone has a subclass. So, oh, and I want to show the um, inventory just really quick. So you've got weapons, and you can uh, you can do stuff to them. So you can add uh, extra yeah. things here. So I've got a an enchanted haft, an engraved pommel, and a frost rune. So in, instead of like in Dragon Age Origins where you could just put runes in your weapons, you can now upgrade your weapons with different uh, areas, like different uh, things. And the attachments. Actually, yeah, attachments. Yeah. yeah. And it'll actually change how the weapon looks, which is really cool. And you can do the same with uh, your armor. So uh, right now, I've got arms and legs on my armor, and you can change those. It's really cool. Like, I like the way yeah. they did it. I didn't really understand it at first, so I was like, oh, why don't they have, you know, gauntlets and uh, 
greaves and stuff like that. And then I was like, oh, you can actually change them that way, which is really cool. I mean, it is it is nice being able to collect a full set of armor and then wearing that full yeah, set of there, armor. Yeah, there's something about that. But it, this way is also actually pretty cool because you never you can have a bunch of different ways and different kind of armor. Yeah, and they all look the same too. So if you change something on the armor, it'll like match the main body. So you don't have like green, blue, and red. Yeah. So we drained the dam. We did. Well, we drained the lake. That's true. Oh, that is a dragon. That's a, that's a dragon. <laughs> so, I, I think it, the the world looks amazing. It does. It looks it looks really nice. Uh, now what have you been? I I know we're not going to talk a, a whole lot about the story, but what have you? Uh, what do you think about it so far, Chris? Uh, it's big, like it's a huge story. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but. If you think it's over, it's probably not. Really? That's all I'm gonna say. That's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, so this is a rift. Uh, you can close this, it. Yeah, this is like the, the main sort of. Yeah, you close it with your special abilities. Uh, oh, and then uh, so here's the. This is a uh, one part of the combat. So it's a uh, third person over the shoulder, and then there's a uh, another form of combat where you can go uh, top down view. That's yeah. This is all like been in the game since the first game though. Yeah. It's nothing really new. I don't like the top down view in this game though. It's kind of it's too tight. In Dragon Age one and two you could make you you could like expand over the whole area. Yeah. So uh to when you're in the top down view you press right right trigger to uh advance time. So you can just like let everything go. Um right now. So here I'll just uh And the attacks are a lot. They're they're like uh, origins. Yeah. Like in two, all the attacks were sped up. Yeah. Well, it was just a it was a button mashing game, really. Um, with this, it's more you know you just you just hold right trigger, which I think is better than just pressing A and just letting it go. Um, and then of course you have all your. Purchases. I don't know. It was a lot easier to just like base attack someone, and then that leaves you free to use your all your specials on them. It makes uh, it a lot easier instead yeah. of having to hold it down. Because on PC, um, using a mouse and keyboard is a lot harder. Because you have to hold the mouse button to attack. Yeah. And then you, you still have to use all the skills. Like, you can't just set it to attack right. automatically. Well, well they're, I think I think it's good because they're trying to appeal to a you know larger audience. And a larger audience, usually like console people, they really like to just, you know, fully control. It's like, oh, I want to attack now, and so I'll press this. Yeah. And you know, there's there's different kinds of people, but I think appealing to the audience where it's just you know you have kind of it kind of feels like the best of both worlds. Like you're not button mashing like you were in the second one, which people on PC absolutely hated. Yeah. And you're not. Well, you could still auto attack though. You didn't have to button mash. Oh, really? And then, but yeah, but then you have a, you know, this where it's just like oh, it's a it's a fine oh, line. Search your map. You got the your. No, like the your mini map is blinking that's something new to the series yeah so um when you're around uh like something like an important quest or something you can um you can click the right stick and it'll like search for things for you yeah you didn't find anything because you didn't look but just wait i'm it's just i don't really care you know it's a quest yeah The looting is pretty cool too. So there's something. All right, so it tells me to go over here. Oh. Ooh, what's this? It's one of the collection quests. Yeah. So yeah, there's like the you can find all the bottles. Uh, there's the shards. Well, the shards, uh, they actually find it for you. The, the bottles, you have to actually look. Yeah. Um, I was going to say something. Forgot, but... You should 
put uh, potions in one of your hotkeys. Uh, can I have hotkeys in here? I don't yeah. think you can on the controller. Oh, oh, you can have it. Like, yeah, in the radio. Set it, set it in there. It'll I don't know. I mean, easier. Uh, it, it kind of takes you out of it. To... No, I don't know. I kind of like it because then you have you have a, like, a little break for me at least. Oh yeah, so they have um, something new called uh, schematics. So basically, it's it's kind of like an upgrade thing, but you find schematics for weapons, and then you um, you can make them at your uh, castle or armor or whatever. Yeah, well, it's 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 the updated uh, crafting system. Yeah, you can make your weapons and armor now. And you find different uh, like there's a bunch of different kinds of leather and uh, metal, and different. Uh, Items have you know different uh, abilities, so you choose which uh, abilities you want for your certain weapons, and it's yeah. really cool. Like some will upgrade strength, some yeah. will upgrade uh, dexterity, some give you like resistances. Mm. Yeah, no, it's it's really cool. It's uh, kind of like Skyrim, where you can uh, the crafting in Skyrim is quite good. Yeah. Caves. Oh yeah. Ooh. So I re like, I think just walking around the world is probably the best part of the game. Yeah. Because, like, I you spent hours. I remember when when I first got the game, I didn't leave the first area. Oh, I know. It took me like twelve hours. Yeah, it's just like you can spend so much time in one area just looking at everything. And if you're if you're a completionist, which a lot of people who do play Dragon Age are completionists, and they really like to just you know look at everything and really experience the full world and everything the developers had to put in. It, you can just do that. It's You don't feel pressured to do the story constantly. Yeah, I mean, there's some, like, parts in the levels where the enemies are much higher level than you. Yeah, so you, so have, you have to leave and come back for a higher level. Or you just spend, like, but time... But those things don't disappear, so you can come back yeah. later. You don't, it, you don't have to rush. Yeah, like I remember, there's a there's an enemy in the first area, and you, you you literally can't attack it unless you go forth and level up in different areas. Yeah, which is actually pretty cool because it it makes you come back to areas. Because in in some games you you'll do stuff in in the in a certain area, and you're like, oh, okay, well I got pretty much everything, and then you you leave and you never go back to that area. And with that stuff, uh, it really makes you want to come back and you know be like, oh, okay, well I can do this now that I've uh, leveled up and got all this stuff. Yeah. And they do have a kind of like uh, Skyrim jumping thing, so I'll I'll be going up a mountain. I'll just keep, continue to jump and try yeah, to get like, up. Yeah, like, sort of glitch your way up the mountain. Yeah. Oh. And there's mounts in this game too. Yeah, uh, I I haven't really used them. They're kind of it doesn't. Yeah, really, I don't I don't use them that much. But. It doesn't feel proper. Um, but They're I mean, a little stiff. Yeah. But then again, so is Skyrim's. Yeah. So most games, mount systems are not that great. Well, horses are you know unexplored territory for it for the moment. It... Well, unexplored as in like you know they don't spend a whole lot of time on them because there's you know you got to get everything else to properly. Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. So I really like the uh, two-handed. Uh, I played two-handed most of my time in Dragon Age Origins, and you really like the rogue. Yeah, I I like uh, either like dual daggers or archery. Yeah, I did a uh, I did dual swords in Origins too. Like it was that or uh, two-handed. I didn't. I hated the mage. It was so boring. Yeah. Well, because in Origins you could have two swords. Yeah. Like you did. You didn't have, to have two daggers. Like as a warrior, you could have two swords, which is really cool. Yeah, but this one you can only have two daggers. Yeah. Um, but no, the major in this one, I get just, I really enjoy just kind of switching to Vivian or Solus, one of the other persons you get, and, uh, just sitting there and doing the actions is actually really cool, like, uh, I'll show you here. And then, uh, you've got all, of course, all the different things, and all, most of them are either buffs or, um, you know, attack. Yeah. And there's the different type of magic to fight the different enemies. Yeah. So there's like rage demons, which are fire-based enemies, so fire attacks won't do that much. So if you have like an ice mage, then you can easily take them out. Yeah. Like this enemy is an ice enemy, so if you had a fire mage, it would uh, do quite a bit of damage. Yeah. 
And the different staffs, of course, they have uh, all the different elements. So in like in the first one, it's like you choose what element you are, and then that's the element you have. Whereas with the this one, you can have a staff, so you'd be like, okay, well now I'm a, you know, I've got storm or yeah. frost or stuff like that, which is really cool. And some missions actually require you to change up uh, what element you're using. Yeah. Because yeah, there might be like a a, a barrier. Like an yeah. ice barrier on a door, and you have to use fire to open that barrier. Yeah. Would you say this is, so far, would you say this is one of the best entries in the series, or...? Th this... Like, I, I really love Dragon Age Origins, just because it's, you know, it's classic, and it, the memories of playing that are, like, really strong, but... Gameplay-wise, and just, you know, how much, how far they've come, this is probably the best one. It's just so fluid and fun and enjoyable I, I really really love it Ooh, yeah. that's a, that's a big guy so you can check out uh, levels and stuff like that so he's only a level 11 which uh, pretty much everyone is the the like uh, auto lock is kind of not great yeah it's kind of annoying but you should change to a warrior and uh, yeah. tank him so we'll he's, just gonna, he's gonna kill your mage Oh yeah, so I can, I'm going to use my Special Inquisitor ability. So, you get this after a certain period in time in the game, and you open up a rift, and it just uh, does crazy amounts of damage. It, it does uh, like spirit-based damage, I think. Yeah. Seems like a pretty good move. Can you just continue that? How long can you yeah, continue that you for? Yeah, continue that forever until you get uh, interrupted. Oh, that seems super overpowered. Uh, it's quite good. It's probably one of the best uh, abilities I have, and it goes up by um. So, th so that's the problem with ha not having a rogue is that I can't open some doors. Yeah, that's why I usually play as a rogue because yeah, then you rogue get companions rogues. are not uh, not the greatest. Yeah, they're quite bad. Um, oh, what was I saying? We're talking about abilities. I have no idea. Oh yeah, my so my whirlwind ability. This one. It, every time you um, hit an enemy with it, uh, the damage goes up by like 10 or something. So you can get some, like I've gotten 400 damage just by one hit. It's pretty uh, pretty awesome. Yeah. I but, think the most I've gotten in a hit is like 750 or something. Well, you have, you've got that backstab, right? Yeah. With the rogue, which is, that, that does insane amount of damages. Um, so they've got supply caches when you you know you're on long quests, which I mean still kind of annoys me that they don't have a full thing where you can just choose uh, how much health potion you have. Yeah. Um, um, see, sometimes when you're you know, you get you get interrupted. Yeah. When you do that. And I like to I'm like when there's jumps in games, I I, I jump a lot. I don't know why. Yeah. It's just I think it's because it's just it, compulsive. Yeah. Like back when I was playing Oblivion, I would just jump constantly. Even well, it's also because you could level up. By jumping yeah, that's true. It's acrobatics. You get level up. I really like this ability too. It's like okay, anyone walks around it, they get a like just put on fire. It's pretty awesome. Yes, yeah, so you see, it's going up by uh, about ten every time. Yeah. Yeah, that does a pretty steady stream of damage. Yeah. Although the game is a lot harder, I find it is. It is definitely a lot harder. Because the enemies are more, uh, they're a lot, a lot more different. It's not just like, oh, let's just attack and attack and attack. It's they've actually got buffs uh, for certain enemies, and certain enemies do you certain. You want to do something? Yeah, no, I know. I was uh, doing things. So if you if you uh, try and close the fade rift while the guys are out, they'll stun them. Uh, so if you've got like a little bit of time. Uh, but yeah, no, there's so many different kinds of enemies that do different things. So you have to really be careful while you're. Uh, while you're playing, because your your allies go down immediately without you noticing. Yeah, it's really dangerous. So that ability is pretty cool. Fortunately, it doesn't work against the uh, flame enemies. No. Um. I know. Oh, health bar. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more party management in this game. Like yeah. it was, it wasn't a big deal in one. Well, in one. In it one was, it was. Uh, in two, it wasn't two, really. Two, yeah, you, two. You could just freaking 
do it whatever you wanted, really. Like, your yeah, allies weren't that good. You, it was just all you, button mesh. I, I didn't like Dragon Age 2, in case you didn't notice. I liked it. It wasn't as good as Origins. No. But it was still a good game. Ooh. Got new axe. So, oh, you know, uh, what I really think is cool is that, you know, in Dragon Age Origins, if you had, you know, one set of armor, you could put it on anyone and it looked exactly the same. Yeah. Well, in this one, it's different. So, we'll take uh, we'll take my armor off here, just because, you know, we finished the quest and I don't want to go any farther to swell anything. So, we'll take my armor off and then we'll go to, uh, we'll go to Iron Bull, I guess. And see, that, so that's what it looked like on Iron Bull. Like, it won't look exactly the same, which is, I think it's pretty cool. It's just like, because no one wears the armor exactly the same, right? Yeah. Um, and then, you know, you got, uh, Varric here, so he's got a big shoulder thing, which actually looks pretty cool. Um, and then we'll just go back to me, and then that's what it'll look like on me. So I, th I thought that was really cool when I saw it, and I was like, oh yeah, it, you know, it's different. It makes it more immersive for the player. Yeah. So, I'm a really big advocate for this game being Game of the Year. It, like, I haven't, I haven't had... I think I'd, I'd probably put my name in the hat as well. I've had so much fun playing this game, and I, I haven't come across anything but the potions, really, that uh, I haven't really enjoyed. Um, but there yeah. are a few minor things that I have that I don't, I'm not a huge fan of, but I can easily look over those. Well, when, do you want to go through them? Oh, no, it, we, it's the, like, no healing, oh, yeah. uh, limited potion storage, uh, yeah, just that kind of stuff. Yeah. The exploring, though, is really cool. Like, I have no idea. The environments look so good. Yeah. They're, they're taking a lot more, uh, like, dwarven stuff, too. Like, in the whole areas. Well, I mean, there's a lot of dwarven stuff in the other games, too. Eh. Especially 2. Yeah, okay, well, 2 I didn't really play that much of. I stopped playing 2 halfway through. Because I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, we get it. Looks so good. <laughs> Just can't get over it. Uh, I guess that's how we get up. Yeah. So you're, you're farther than me, right, Chris? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. I think I've spent about 30 hours in this game so far. Yeah, and we've barely gotten through the campaign. Like, it's just... It's a huge game. I, I forget what was, like, 300 hours of gameplay? I don't know. I think they said 150 for one character. But for one character, okay. You're gonna you're bound to play more than yeah. one character. I, I know some people who wouldn't do that, but I, I, could, I could easily play three characters. Just three different, like, uh, classes, Mage, Rogue, and, uh, Warrior. Yeah. So, uh, Well, and the different races, because you can play as the uh, Kunari in this one. Yeah, which is actually really cool. Yeah. Kunari, Elf, uh, Dwarf. Dwarf, and Human. Yeah. So, uh, a lot of, uh, customization. I really like the customization, too, like, the very beginning of the screen. It's really cool. Yeah, the character, the character creation is really nice. Like, uh... It looks really good. It's very smooth. Uh... And it's not like, oh, you just, you just uh, slide a bar to get what you want. It's more like a like a four-sided grid, and each side has a uh, different, uh, what would you say, quality of your certain uh, face aspect or body. And so you can move your uh, right stick around in the four areas to get exactly what you want. Yeah. So that's what my guy looks like right now. You know. So, uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's a great game. If if you are like on the verge of picking it up, just I, get it. Yeah, it's just get it. I I really love it. It's such a fun game. So many hours can be spent just walking around and looking at the world. Like, there's so many different varieties. I remember we were playing. There's a place called Storm Coast and then Oasis. Yeah. And it's just like they're completely different. You have like kind of the rainy forest of like uh, BC. Uh, which we I really enjoyed Storm Coast because you know it felt more like a uh, Vancouver, where it was you know raining. You got the whole forest and everything, and the the ocean on the side. It was really cool. It it for something it, it just felt like at home for me. Uh, and then of course you got the desert and oasis where it's just like you know rock formations and everything, and you're trying to find ways. Uh, yeah, through try different to, areas. Yeah, with the jump you can actually more do more exploring and uh, yeah the, in the game. Lots of fun. Uh, it's still all the different places. Uh, so, Dragon Age Origins. I uh, sorry, Dragon Age Inquisition. I really suggest you pick it up. Yeah, great game. 
Uh, so check out uh, dgamecast.com. Uh, we got other videos. Uh, other videos. We got reviews. I think we're going to try and do a review for this one. I don't know. I mean, I'm very busy at yeah, we, we might We might give it a try. Uh, I know we got a Far Cry coming out for uh, Jeremy. So look for that and check out our other videos. Uh, thanks.